Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a very interesting look at the operating system uh, market share and evolution through the last year with this very very nice little uh, chart here that um, actually this comes from net market share which is a company that actually uh, will get statistics on the um, of course market share of operating systems by looking at different websites and government websites uh, you know they can ping and, and and check out what operating system you're using and that's the the statistics they use so okay look at this very interesting chart and two very particular things that are interesting in here um, Windows 7 and Windows 10 now we see here from May 2016 to May 2017 and I mean that's a, a full year okay look at Windows 7 it was moving around from 48.5 to 47 to 48 to 49 to 48 to 49 May this is amazing that operating system refuses to die it even increased uh, if we believe this uh, right now so it's a very interesting uh, thing that's happening with Windows 7 you know if we take an average here and 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 you know take all the numbers there we you know I, I'm not gonna jump too much on the band because every website today jumped on the bandwagon of oh my god Windows 7 full 1% increase but you know it, it was also like that in March and then it was a 1% less in April and you know it, it's moving around a lot so uh, let's just do it as an average and I, I would you know kind of more say that Windows 7 just stay stable pretty much because these numbers are jumping around and uh, so I'm not gonna look at the May 2017 number as oh it's increasing it's pretty much stable let's let's call it stable because that's pretty much where we're at and there are some 49 percent if there is an increase there's a slight increase but Windows 7 refuses to die and it's very clear when you look at the the full year here uh, I mean almost half the computers are running Windows 7 last year almost half the computers are running Windows 7 this year that doesn't change and that's going to be a big headache for Microsoft you know two years and a half from now Windows 7 is going to be retired retired no more security updates and you know a lot of you have asked me what do you think is going to happen do you think they're going to extend the uh, you know updates and they're going to extend the, the, the servicing of Windows 7 um, you know everything is possible with Microsoft they often say no 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 then at the last moment say okay we're going to extend um, I think the next year is going to be what will decide if there could be an extension or not you know we're still two years and a half and you know a, a, a operating system can decline quite rapidly so uh, I think we'll need to have another look but if next year, for example, it would stay pretty much the same, now Microsoft's got a big, big problem on its hands. So it's very interesting. Windows 7 machines just, you know, refusing to die. On the Windows 10 side, what are the increase? Well, look at that. May 2016, that's last year, 17.4% of machines had Windows 10. If we look at May 2017, 2678 and if we look at the numbers steady increase you know steady increases uh, pretty much all the time of uh, the Windows 10 operating system so you know it's there and it's increasing we've got half a percent more uh, in May than April uh, I think you know we, we've got to look at that of course it's slowed down in the increase but it's still uh, it's still pretty interesting you know I think it's 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 still you know make, getting better Microsoft does say that the pace of increase the pace of adoption of Windows 10 they're really happy and I think they understand that they're having a big problem with Windows 7 here and that you know it's 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 okay for them to move you know at that pace they, they seem to be okay with that and of course if we look at the other operating systems Windows XP Windows XP last year actually um, as you see here it was 10 percent and it's now at 5.66 for May 2017 actually look at how fast it dropped from 7 to 566 I, I I was thinking of if that number holds next month 
I think a lot of people ditched Windows XP computers when they saw the WannaCry uh, ransomware and said, oh my God, okay, the, the, it, we got to ditch and we got to throw those Windows XP computers away. Uh, it, I, I, I do feel like it's kind of a coincidence. And uh, if it does stay like that, I think a lot of people got scared with Windows XP and the WannaCry ransomware thing. As for Windows 8.1, 8.77 last year, 6.74, slow but steady decline in the operating system. Uh, Mac OS 10.12, the latest version, uh, is at 3.59%. Now, that's not the market share for Mac. Um, you see that there's Utter there, 7.77%. That includes all the older Mac OS uh, 10. So, you know, uh, it's closer to like about nine, eight or nine percent for the total Mac computers and about, you know, two percent probably around one point five to two percent for their Linux operating system in here. There's, um, you know, uh, I, I saw a number for Chrome OS also as zero point nine percent or something like that. So it's kind of interesting to see. But uh, the two numbers that are just amazing here is is looking at Windows 10 and Windows 7. And, and, and looking at the headache that's going to be, uh, um, th that, that's probably happening at Microsoft right now. So this is an interesting look. Um, what's your take on this? What's your take on Windows 7 holding on like that? What's your take on Windows 10 uh, increase? Um, I, I want to have your comments on that. Uh, kind of interesting here when you look at that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.